yesterday when I was on live stream, I went over, um, you know, the inflation and what happened, bad financial week for America. And Jerome Powell, the federal chair, federal reserve chair, he raised the interest rate to try to counteract the inflation. And I told y'all it would never work. Well, Janet Yellen is pretty much confirming what I said. So according to Janet Yellen, high inflation is locked in for the rest of the year. So these high prices that you see out here, when December come, you're going to still see it. And I doubt if it goes anywhere in 2023. But she is telling that the economy is going to slow down. All right. So this is Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. So she said that unacceptably high prices are likely to stick with consumers through 2022 and that she expects the U.S. economy to slow down. It's already slowing down. We've had a high inflation so far this year, and that locks in higher inflation for the rest of the year, she said Sunday on ABC's This Week. I expect the economy to slow, she said, adding, but I don't think a recession at all is inevitable. And trust me, it is. The recession is coming. You got to understand it's a political year. The midterms are this year. So they're going to try to say whatever they need to say to ease the pain. A recession is here. You know, we've seen this before when a recession is already in place, but they won't tell you. Y'all remember when George W. Bush refused to say the word recession? That's what this reminds me of. But, you know, the country was in a recession in 2007. And we're seeing history just repeat itself right now. U.S. inflation accelerated to 8.6% in May. A fresh 40-year high that signals price pressures are becoming entrenched in the economy. Those figures dashed any hope that inflation was starting to ebb, prompting the Federal Reserve to unleash its biggest interest rate increase since 1994, which is not going to do anything for prices. So um, uh, the reason behind the stubborn inflation are global, not local, according to Yellen who pointed to uh, disruption in energy supply from the war in Ukraine and goods coming from China, where lockdowns continue. And yes, I am aware of the lockdowns that are going on in China. These factories are unlikely to diminish immediately, she said. Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland... President Loretta Mester echoed Yellen's uh, view that growth will slow down, saying the threat of a U.S. Uh, recession is increasing. The recession risks are going up partly because monetary policy could have pivoted a little bit earlier than it did, she said on Sunday, CBS Face the nation, referring to criticism that the Fed failed to raise interest rates at the first sign of runaway inflation. And that actually started back in 2021, and they chose to ignore it. Mester sees it um, taking several years for the year-to-year -year headline inflation rate to return close to the federal uh, 2% goal. Mm -mm -mm. Well, 
soaring prices are hurting Americans in an in economic downturn by 2024. Barely even on the radar just a few months ago is now close to a three in four probability, according to the latest estimates by Bloomberg Economics. Brian DC, director of Biden's National Economic Council, painted a rosier picture of the economy than Yellen, and he has to. It, like I said, it's a midterm year. So getting the full truth, good luck, because they're just not going to do it. So he also expressed hope in congressional passage of a bill that would lower the cost of prescription drugs, offer tax incentive for um, energy and other measures, will take the pressure off of household finances. Yellen said a gasoline tax holiday is worth considering if it could help consumers weather inflation. It's going to be a tough tough year. You know, like I said, every single Jubilee year, you see things turn economically. And now that we are in the final days of this society, our Heavenly Father is going to gut this place financially. He is. They're not going to be able to go on. But see, we're not quite there yet but we are on that path. This is not going to be like any other recession. It is going to be far different because America never made a full recovery from the lockdown. So you were already in a weakened state before Black Monday. Now, whoo, Black Monday was like kicking America when she was already down. So it is not going to be quite as easy with all of these shortages and the inflation. And you just see so many things falling apart out in society. I mean, what we see now is unlike any other time this country was in recession. That's why, you know, you're hearing terms like depression this time around. So, I mean, plus now the reports are saying that people are backing off of doing so much spending and that sure won't help your economy at all. People are just grabbing the necessities and foregoing, uh, uh, just splurging on items like they used to once upon a time. They're not doing that so much anymore. And I can't blame anybody people are going to have to, you know, keep some kind of budget, especially with rent going up, food going up, gas going up. And this woman is telling you there is no end in sight in 2022. The inflation is going to continue to go up all throughout the rest of this year. And that can't be good news, especially for people that are not in a good income bracket. It's not good news. So, I mean, even if you got a raise, all of the inflation is just eating your, your uh, raise away. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, still the Fed on Wednesday forecast that a key price index would only increase in coming months, leading to the uh, possibility of another jumbo three quarter percentage point increase in July. Trust me, this summer, like many summers, is when this country makes a lot of money, you know, usually in travel. But as you can see, just looking at Yellowstone, a place that people would tour by the millions, they're already anticipating the year is going to be a big bust for them. And now, you know, with airlines cutting flights, 
hundreds and even thousands of flights over this past weekend. Yeah, I mean, this is not going to be a good summer all the way around. It doesn't matter what industry you are in. So they're now saying that higher interest rates are seen driving unemployment to 4.5%, according to one federal official. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, you're going to have to look out for self because we know this government sure won't help you. They're so concentrated on um, shoveling the money overseas now and completely neglecting the people that are right under their nose. It's amazing how they can all decide and be happy with sending billions and billions of dollars out of the country when people need so much help. And as the prices keep going up, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to have a hard time even, you know, just living day to day in this country because it's already at that point. But y'all, please tell me what you think about what Janet Yellen has said and other economists about things are going to remain high all throughout 20. 22 there <laughs> in fact it's going to go up higher please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and i'll see you on the next video peace family